Uh, it probably could be, yeah. We, we did well on our zone, uh, full court press, and uh, that's what we like to live off of right out of the shoot and as we go through the, through the game. Um, you know, we got some illness and so forth, so we kind of had to back out of it. Uh, Taryn gets to 1,000 eventually there in that uh, third period, or maybe it was the early fourth. Either way, she's over 1,000. Can you talk about uh, her career and uh, getting the opportunity to honor her in a situation like in the corner conference tournament semifinals? Taryn is a great kid. She's an awesome kid. She's one of the better athletes in the corner conference, if not one of the best athletes in the corner conference. Um, every year she's gotten better. You know, she's just done a wonderful job, and it's a great honor to be able to give her a plaque for 1,000 points. And even her first year wasn't that big a year, and she continued to improve every year. So, uh, I guess now into the championship against uh, <laughs> um, the winner of the South Page Essex game. You guys were there last year. Is that, I mean, the way you've played this year, in every game is you've kind of blown some teams out. So I guess I don't know how much experience in that tournament final will help you out but I guess can you speak to that a little well hopefully we will be um, kind of healed up and healthy um, this and, and everybody's you know has it I mean every team's gone through some of this uh, respiratory stuff and hopefully we're on the uh, on the back end of it um, we are just gonna try to put four quarters together and each game get better and better and uh, you know try to put it to them on the championship this tournament's been around for so long what is it mean to you and your team to to win it to try to have an opportunity to win it for second straight year yeah this is actually not only the second straight year this is the second time in history yeah if we if we get w on this this would be the second time in history which is uh which is awesome and it means a lot to these girls these girls um the four seniors started as freshmen and they've just each year gotten better and better so it's a good deal for them coach thanks we'll see you friday yeah sounds good see you then um, well, I tried not to think about it because I didn't want to add the pressure, but um, my teammates got me open. We just kind of came in. We wanted to focus on the game. Um, if I got there tonight, I got there tonight. If I didn't, hopefully we'd get it Friday. But we didn't, I, didn't, I tried not to think about it because I didn't want to get my hopes up. Now that you're there, uh, I guess, can you think back to like when you are a freshman and did you ever even think this uh, was an imaginable thing? Uh, no, honestly, never really even thought that I could get there. Um, my freshman, sophomore year, I didn't really score that much, and then my junior year kind of helped me out, gave me a little bit of a boost for this. Um, winning here tonight, uh, you guys jump out huge lead and then get a victory, get an opportunity to go to the Corner Conference Championship. You won it last year. Can you kind of speak to what uh, the Corner Conference Tournament kind of means to you and to your team and, and trying to win that thing again? Um, it's really important to us. It's been one of our top priorities this year, um, one of our goals to reach. I mean, it was a big deal for us last year knocking off Stanton, and it was a great feeling then. I'm sure it'll be a great feeling if we get it this year, but we really have to focus and work hard in practice to get there. Essex is, Essex is a great team, and every South Page can knock it off. They knocked off Nishabana, so they're ready to play, and we have to be ready for whoever comes at us. Taryn, great job. Congrats. I'll let you enjoy your cake. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah, it does feel pretty good. And I told the girls in the locker room, I said, sometimes good teams got to find a way to win. Uh, you got to have bad wins, too. And at the end of the night, we were ahead on the scoreboard. For a while, it didn't seem like that, but we ended ahead, so it was good. Uh, How did you get that done tonight? Uh, you know, there was a, a lot of stretches in that game where it was very physical, a lot of turnovers, but uh, how were you able to come out on top? Um, I think, you know, some of our role players stepped up big tonight. I think we played 11 out of our 12 girls. We had foul trouble. And that's why I told the girls off the bench, you know, way to step in and, and give us valuable minutes. Way to go get a couple rebounds, make a couple shots. Way to buckle down and make a free throw or two. Uh, Kim Graham tonight, she had 14 points in the first half, 16 total for the night. Had some foul trouble there, but uh, she really went through a stretch there where she looked unstoppable. Can you talk about her night? Um, yeah, she played well for us. I mean, that kept us going. And she doesn't know how good she can be at times. I mean, she'll miss one layup, and it's like, oh, it's the worst player. It's like the first, you know, that's the first miss you've had all night. You know, you just need to keep playing, keep your head up, and just keep taking it to the post and scoring. Uh, you're coming up, corner conference final. You got a uh, fourth rated team in, in Class 1A in Fremont Mills. A uh, very good team. What's it going to take to get it done? Uh, it's going to take taking care of the ball and making a few shots. Uh, the last time we played them at home, we were down 15 points at the end of the first quarter. And we played with them the rest of the game, but it's just our slow starts and turnovers that get us. All right, Coach. Well, congratulations on the win. Good luck on Friday. Thank you much.
That's really exciting. I honestly had never dreamed of being able to have this opportunity in my high school career. It's crazy. Uh, your night tonight, 16 points for you, 14 of them in the in, in the first half, and really for a stretch there, it looked like you were pretty unstoppable down low. Can you talk about your night tonight? What was working for you? Um, honestly, I was just able to get the ball down low, like Dayton and Amber, and everybody was able to work it around, and they found openings, and they just got it to me. Uh, and then can you talk about this team's stretch uh, this season? Uh, you know, this team's been playing really well. They, they've really come together. Uh, you know, why is that happening? Honestly, I think it's because uh, no one's, like, really sticking straight out and everybody's working together. We've been able to find someone that's on tonight, uh, one night, and then the next night if someone else is off, that's fine because someone else steps up and we just all end up working together and have fun and it's great. And can you talk about uh, your team stepping up tonight? You had four fouls there and had to had to sit for a lot of the second half. Uh, you know what was that like for you watching from the bench while while the rest of the team kind of stepped up? It kind of stunk, but I mean everybody off the bench. There's people in there that weren't used to playing a lot, but they really stepped up and they took it to them. So yeah. Uh, corner Conference Championship game coming up on Friday. Fremont Mills, the number four team in Class 1A, a very good basketball team. Uh, what, do, what does the team need to work on between then and now, and what do you have to do to get a win on Friday? Honestly, I think we need to kind of control the pace of the game. We need to slow down, and we need to be able to shut down their top scorers, and we need to be able to shoot. We need to all be on for a change. All right, Kim. Well, nice job tonight. Congratulations, and uh, good luck on Friday. Thank you very much.